What's going on y'all? I'm Czar and in this video we're taking a look at Presonus's first feature drop for Studio One since they announced uh, last year they would be doing feature drops three to four times a year and we're not even at the end, well we are at the end, we're not even uh, through the end of the first month of the year and we have our first feature drop. So we've got five new features that's coming to Studio One 7.1 and I'm gonna go over one of them in this video. Uh, but those five, we've got uh, Impact has seen some updates, uh, Instrument Buses has seen some updates, Note Editor, and we have a brand new virtual instrument called uh, cinematic lights and then we have transform to rendered audio for buses now which is what I'm going to focus on in this video. Uh, if you don't have Studio One 7 or you're not familiar with uh, Studio One Plus which is the subscription service I'll have a link in the description if y'all want to check it out learn more about it or pick it up. Alright so being able to transform uh, rendered tr being able to transform rendered audio for buses now this is a big deal because this allows you, if you use hardware, uh, you can now use hardware across a whole bus. You can render that and then have the sound of that hardware on that track, on just a stereo track. Uh, also, same way if you use plugins, I'm going to use plugins uh, in this video here just because I can't use my hardware and do my screen recording at the same time. But let's take a look at how we do this. Uh, so on this track, I'm taking all, let's see, this track to, I think here. Yeah. So all of these tracks are uh, going to my drum bus and I'm going to transform that to rendered audio. So on that drum bus, I've got a couple plugins. I've got the uh, Heritage Audio Tape Saturator. I've got Kit Plugin Smash and I've got the Passive EQ from the Fat Channel. Uh, let's, uh, bypass that and take a listen to this. Uh, this is just on the drums. And here's what the plugins added. All right, so I want to capture those three plugins and this bus and transform that to render audio. So uh, the way we're going to do this is you're going to go to that bus, uh, right click, and you see we ha now have the option uh, to transform to rendered audio. I'm going to select that, and it's going to take some time so we can process this whole track. Uh, so while it is doing that, uh, let's talk about... Uh, if you have the subscription service or if you have uh, the perpetual license, uh, you can get a update to 7.1, depending on when you got the perpetual license. But if you just got Studio One 7 when 7 came out, uh, you should, you'll be able to get this update because it's, uh, I believe it's, you get 12 months uh, of free updates with uh, the perpetual license. Or if you have the subscription, uh, you're going to get uh, the update as well. So uh, you can uh, update to Studio One 7.1 to get this and the rest of these new features. Uh, obviously clipping here, but we're not going to worry about that here. Give this a few more seconds uh, for it to uh, process. But yeah, and while this is finishing up, so yeah, I do like to use uh, hardware on my buses, especially drum buses sometimes, even vocal buses. I have some compressors. I like to use um, hardware through pipeline on uh, my buses. And this is going to allow me to, what we got here? Oh, the, the clipping. All right, so yeah, uh, do you want to abort? No, I don't. Let's keep it. All right, so let's take a look at what has happened here at the uh, bottom. We've got a locked track. If we hover over that icon there, it tells us that this is a transform track. Uh, so I like that it uh, makes us aware of that. We're able to see that very easily. Uh, but this is now the track. And if we go back to the top of the session, uh, you'll notice that it removed all those tracks that were in this bus. So this can help clean up your session as well if you've got a lot of tracks. Uh, we'll, take a, we'll just solo this, take a listen to it. All right, and just like if you were using uh, transform to rendered audio with a single track, uh, it's going to remove the plugin as well. So uh, if you're you know running low on CPU usage, you can use this as well. You can see the drum bus here; it has removed the plugin. 
And so that's how you transform a bus into rendered audio. Now, if you want to go back, uh, very easy to do that as well. Go back to that bus or uh, that track, I should say. And if we right click, uh, we've got the option to transform to bus channel, which this is going to revert it back to what we had before. So let's click that and our drum bus track is gone now. Uh, we can see we have my drum tracks back. And so one thing this did do is it, it it's moving the drum bus all the way to the right, which in the settings, I do not have it set uh, to do that. So it looks like that's just the behavior that it's uh, exhibiting right now. But you can see it did put my plugins back. And of course, those are the same settings I had before. So very easy for this to revert. Um, I would like to see this revert back to where I had it in the session, which is right after the drums. I like to put my uh, drum bus right after the drums. It's just easy for organization. So uh, hopefully we can uh, get that uh, fixed in a update here but for right now uh, that is how it works all right so that is how you transform rendered audio with uh, using buses which is now available in studio 17.1 uh, definitely comment and let me know what y'all think about this let me know uh, what you think about these other new features that were added as well um, i said in the video last year that uh, them and PreSonus announcing that they're going to do feature drops three to four times a year is going to put pressure on them for them to do that. And uh, we see the first one here. We'll see how quickly we'll see the second one. I would guess maybe two to three months, maybe one, a quarter. I would say it would give us uh, four for the year, uh, but we'll see. But again, definitely comment and let me know what y'all think about these new features that have been added. All right. Uh, once again, I'll have a link in the description if y'all want to check this out, learn more about it, or pick it up. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, I appreciate a thumbs up, and if y'all want to continue to see content from me, then y'all know what to do.